sync to our smartphones, wearables can track the steps we take, the calories we consume, the hours of sleep we get, and even the quality of our dreams. I'm Lauren Keating for Tech Times, putting a finger on the pulse of the wearable market and asking you to decide, is it hot or not? The Wellograph markets itself as a wellness watch. It's waterproof so you can wear it in the shower or when taking a swim. It's also compatible to iOS, Android, and Windows phones. On the downside, it doesn't have a food logging system and it doesn't track your sleep. At over $300, it's the priciest tracker in our spotlight. What's more suitable for the heart healthy consumer than the tech savvy athlete? The Misfit Flash is an affordable alternative to the pricey Velograph. It's waterproof, tracks your sleep, but does not monitor your heart rate. To activate it, download the accompanying app for an iPhone, Android, or Windows phone. Tap on the flash button and it'll start tracking your activity. Press it again to stop and check the app to see if you've met your goal. At under $50, the Misfit Flash is suitable for those who are curious about wearables but would rather spend big bucks on a new running shoes or a bicycle. BioWare's Taya is a stylish way for you to receive emails and notifications from your phone. It also tracks things like the steps you've taken. It comes out in the spring starting at $239. Me personally, I'd rather receive the alerts straight from my phone. On the opposite side of the style spectrum is Padlock. It's a wristband that sends you an electric shock when you're behaving badly. Are you a sleepyhead? You can set it so instead of hitting the snooze button, it'll send you a zap. The exercise option lets you set your location and time of your workout, and if you don't get there in time, it'll send you a zap. This is also great for people who want to stop smoking. You press on the lightning bolt, and it'll send you a shock, and it kind of hurts. At $129, Pavlock is lighter on the wallet than hiring a personal trainer but the electric shock is not for the faint of heart. There are many different fitness trackers out on the market. I hope this helps you find one that's right for you. I'm Lauren Keating with Tech Times.